Uh, I'll um, um, try to offer an answer to some of that. Uh, one of the things I think that um, we have been hearing in regards to uh, leading to some of the morale issues, and this isn't all of it, but it's the workload. Uh, it's the workload and the lack of staff to do the job. Um, one of the things hopefully that you have been seeing is that um, by us engaging in this alignment effort, uh, we've been able to say, we've got a plan. And as a result, we've been able to get many CPRs approved and, and recruitments going forward to try to help um, bring more staff on to help uh, with the workload. And then in addition, this is the very um, uh, issue of, um, I don't wanna have to turn to staff again and say, uh, I'm sorry, you just need to do more. Um, what we're trying to do is leverage um, the realities that we have um, limits on what you can, can accomplish and uh, what we're trying to do is say, okay, there's going to be some things we are going to take off the plate. We're going to allow you to focus here. Um, and again, that's not the whole story as it pertains to our morale, but that's a couple of the things that we're trying to do in this process um, so that we don't come out of this as we have in previous years where we've and I've experienced this myself. Uh, we take a budget cut, we nibble around the edges, and nothing changes for you. And, and that's something that we're, that I, I can't stress that enough as part of this effort. We can't nibble around the edges. We have to be, um, make strategic decisions about what we're going to continue to do, where we're going to focus, and be brave enough to say we're going to have to give certain things up. Um, that's not the total answer, I know, but that's um, at least a couple of the things that we're trying to do to try to address some of that.